Other news tonight, some changes are coming to the neighborhood around Lambeau Field. Two gas stations, which are near the stadium, are now closing. They would be the latest changes, and it might not sound in itself like a big deal, but the question is, what will happen to these prime properties located right in the shadow of Lambeau Field? Fox 11 Investigates is digging for answers. Robert Hornacek joining us live at Lambeau Field. Robert, what have you learned? Well, Tom, by the end of the month, both of these gas stations, which are right across the street from Lambeau Field, will be closed. We can tell you that the Sitco station will be sold. And at this point, no one is saying exactly why the mobile gas station is closing. We do know that the Packers continue to be very active in real estate in this area. Now, I did speak with the owner of the Sitco station, and he says the store will be closed within the next week or two. And the property is in the process of being sold, but the owner would not confirm who is buying it. As for the mobile station, there's a sign on the door announcing the store's closing indefinitely at the end of business tomorrow. Employees at the store would not say why it's closing, and the owner has not returned my calls. Now, this all comes as the Packers continue to acquire properties near the stadium. The team already owns 19 properties west of Lambeau Field, worth more than $25 million. Now, in just the last six months, Fox 11 Investigates has found that the Packers have spent $1.1 million to buy three properties, including a home, a duplex, and the strip mall, which is located right next to that Sitco station. With those purchases, there are now just four properties west of the stadium in that area that the Packers don't own. I contacted the organization to see, ask for more information about its properties on the west side of the stadium, and I specifically asked whether the team is involved with either of the two gas stations. Team spokesman Aaron Popke said that he respectfully declines to discuss the properties we referenced. He says the Packers continue to work on a master plan for the land owned by the west of Lambeau Field and do not have any details to announce at this time. Meanwhile, village leaders in Ashwaubenon say they're cautiously optimistic. Certainly the commercial end of it, when that's developed, it will be something wonderful for the whole area, not just Ashwaubenon. But with that, we have to make sure that our interests in the residential areas are protected while that is going on. Now, as for the gas station properties, we did check with the Brown County Register of Deeds office just to see if any sales have gone through. And at this point, nothing has been filed. But the owner of that Sitco station tells me that he does expect the sale there to close sometime later this month. Reporting live at Lambeau Field, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News.